everyone, my name is Harvest Franz and today we are going to continue to talk about gross domestic product. So in the previous video we talked about GDP is equal to consumption plus investment plus government spending plus net exports. And today we are going to focus on the second component, investment. But before we move on, I want you to please distinguish between the difference between economic investment and financial investment. So economic investment is the purchase of tools, equipment, machineries in order to produce more goods and services in the future. So for example, if you purchase a computer because you design a website service and you charge your client for the website you design, then the purchase of the computer is considered economic investment. Whereas financial investment is the purchase of bonds, stocks, or financial instruments, and that's similar to saving because um, Think about saving when you put your money in the bank, um, you're collecting interest, and at the end of the day, you're going to take back your principal. So that's your saving. And that's very similar to the purchase of stocks. You're collecting the dividends, and at the end of the day, you're selling your stock. That's kind of like um, putting your money in the bank and getting the principal back. So to economists, financial investment is more like uh, a saving. So. Um, when we talk about investment, from now on, when we talk about investment in GDP, we're talking about economic investment. We're not talking about financial investment. And um, also, by the definition of investment by economists, you know if your girlfriend tells you, hey, I want to buy a Louis Vuitton bag because it lasts forever, it's a good investment, then you're going to tell your girlfriend, no, that's not really an investment because you don't use your LV bag to produce more goods and services you use them to go shopping, then that's consumption. So um, moving on to investment. So the investment really is an abbreviation of gross private domestic investment. And there are three components in them. The first one is final purchases of equipment, machineries and tools. So you purchase them in order to produce more goods and services in the future. And the second one is all constructions. So that includes construction of factories and also townhomes. And the last component is changes in inventories. So if your um, inventory goes up, then that adds to investment. But your inventory goes down, then that's subtracted from the investment. So you will ask, um, why is it important for me to know the difference between the three components? Here's a reason. So if your um, investment goes up, is it a good sign for the economy? Well, that depends on whether your investment goes up because firms are purchasing more equipment, tools, and machinery, or because firms simply got more inventories. Well, if it's the first one, um, firms are purchasing more equipment and machinery, then that's a good sign because firms are expecting consumers to buy more and as a result, they invest more in order to produce more goods and services. So that would be a good sign. But if your investment goes up because you have more inventory, then that's a bad sign. Why? Because when consumers are not buying goods and services, then your in inventory will go up. So that wouldn't be such a good sign for the economy. So that concludes our mini session investment of a gross domestic product. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.